In the name of Jesus, we thank you. I bless you. I give you glory. Thank you for adding another year unto our age. We thank you and we bless you for this day. In Jesus' name, Amen. 
Once again, we bring you greetings from God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Today, I want to thank God. Today is our birthday. I say our because myself and my twin brother, the Lord has added another year. And so today, I decided to go an African way just to celebrate the day and thank God for His grace. It has never been easy. Uh, because of the grace of God and the favor of God over our lives, the, the enemy has dealt with us. Through it all, we have learned to trust in Jesus. We have learned to trust in Jesus. If it has not been the Lord on our side, let Israel say, it is the hand of Jesus that has protected us. His love has covered us. It is God who has brought us this far. Had it been the Lord on our side, children of God, men and women of God, we would not have been alive this time. But it is the grace of God. God has favored us. God has loved us. God has blessed us. He has never and will never leave us. His promises are ever for us. And so I want to use this opportunity to thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all these years that we have seen another, another day, another year, that you have added another year unto our age. A dawase, we thank you. A radi a dawase, a shirawudin. A we thank you, we thank you. We thank you for another day. We bless you, we bless you, I bless you. My family will bless you. My brother and myself, we bless you. We thank you for adding a year unto our age. We pray for your grace. We pray for your strength. Use us, O oh Lord. Use us for your, your, your will and your cause. Use us that our lives will draw many unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Again, happy birthday to my twin brother, Osofu Steve Jr. Tell Grant Tinko, bless you. Happy birthday to you and happy birthday to myself for God's gracious favor that we have been living on this earth. It is God. Everything that we see in our life is God. God, God is God. It's Jesus. Everything we see in our life is Jesus. It's Jesus. It's Jesus. In our, in our, in our country, Ghana, if everybody give birth to twins, they, they send them and they perform rituals. But for us, for us, there was no rituals performed for us. Our rituals were made in the church because through the church that my mother gave birth to us, my mother was having very difficulty in giving birth. She gave birth to a woman, a, child, a girl child. First one died, second one died. And so the third one was there. And the fourth one was, was also a girl. And according to my dad and my mom, my my father decided to divorce me. my mom because my mom had had girls and so my mom went and sat under the tree and was crying my mom was went and sat under the tree was crying a young girl had no hope and had no place to go and when she was crying they came a man of God, an elder of the park, a man filled with the Holy Ghost, said, why are you sitting here crying under this tree? God led me your way. Right there, and I didn't fast. I remember how, I am quite sorry. I read it in the country, you are pregnant with two boys, with two boys. And this is our story. And so my mother always tell, us that you are children of prophecy you are prophetic children and that is why somebody you hear us every day preaching every day sounding the alarm and preaching the word of god some of us we came to this earth holding the mantle of the word of god to preach and to proclaim the good news of god and so i use this opportunity to thank god and bless his name everywhere and everyone that is, has been standing or is standing with us, first of all, thanks our wives. I mean, Joseph and Benjamin, God bless you. 
thanks our children all our children god bless you all for always standing with us and praying with us for every journey we also thank god for giving all our children unto us in the name of jesus christ amen when you walk with the lord in the light of his word what a glory he shares on our way while we do his good will he abide with us still and with all who will trust trust and obey i'll trust and obey for there is no other way be happy in jesus but to trust trust and obey oh trust and obey for there is no other way be happy in jesus but to trust trust and obey who is jesus who is jesus be preaching from the start of this year i've been talking about jesus jesus who is jesus and i also again started preaching about the covenant name of god the covenant name of god god told moses when you go to the israelites tell them i am have sent you his covenant name is i am whatever you believe god for he is for you if you believe him to be a savior he'll be a savior if you believe him to be your lord he'll be your lord if you believe him to be a healer he will heal you if you believe him to be the soon coming king he'll be the one thing that will never feel that he came through grace the Bible says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And so, every day I tell my listeners that His first coming was defined by grace. His second coming will be defined by judgment. The Bible says, For we all will appear before the judgment seat of Christ, and we will give accounts. Again, the Bible says that it is appointed unto man wants to die and after death there is judgment and so you see that every end 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 is judgment jesus said i am coming and i have my reward in my hands the bible said bless our day that will die in the lord henceforth and they will rest from their labor so jesus also came and said i am i am i am one of the men that came and also proclaimed that he said i am was john the baptist john the baptist proclaimed that i am the one that leads and make way for the king and so john the baptist came to make way god bless you my big sister at late thank you thank you for the blessings and the wishes for a happy birthday the bloody sister john the baptist says that and said i am the one crying in the world and making way for the king that is coming to know jesus christ jesus christ in the bible seven times told us that i am i am meaning that without him without jesus christ my brother my sister child of god without jesus christ you cannot make it you cannot make it I every day says that Jesus is more than gold. He's more precious than silver and gold and diamond. But how many men and women that have come to the Lord Jesus Christ will realize what, he, what or who he is? He's more. I pray that you will understand. Pray that you will know who he is. Today I want to talk about the sixth one that jesus said and when you go into the bible it was john who who was able to write all this down it was john the sixth i am that john wrote that jesus said i am the way 
the truth and life. No one comes to the Father but by me. Let me go and read George chapter 14 and verse 6. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the way. Not one of the ways. The truth, meaning that <laughs> the only truth is me. And again, the life. When you read all this, I am, I am. The first one, he said that I am the bread of life. And you see, three times Jesus brought life, 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 life. In everything, he said, I am the life. Meaning, 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 meaning. Christo niya wutiye mi mame papa. Empire born is a benya in Tassemi, a D. Now would you want to so? He will be on one. He said, I'm a kind of a ready. It is God. If the Lord has not been on our side, if I decide to tell you our story and how the enemy, the enemy plan to destroy us and to disgrace us, you'll be surprised. But it is God. The Bible says that no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that will rise against us will be condemned. Not just condemned. It's for. And these promises in the Bible are for the righteous. Again, it is for the righteous. Yes, the grace of God is there. But if you live righteously and walk righteously automatically, Heaven will stand tall. It is only the garment of righteousness that heaven recognizes. Heaven recognizes the garment of righteousness. Holy life. Holy life. Let me go and read 2 Timothy. 2 Timothy. And I read 2 Timothy 2 and verse 19. And somebody hear this word. It said, nevertheless, the foundation of God, the foundation. <laughs> Again, they say the foundation of God stands sure. Having this seal, the foundation of God stands sure. It, it have this seal. Sealed is something that is used to enter it when there is a seal, meaning that nobody can open it or do anything. And so he say that the foundation of God stands still. Having this seal, that the Lord knows them that are his. God knows his people. He says, and let everyone that name the name of God depart from iniquity. Everyone. And so if if you make mention the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, one of the things that should be <laughs> your garment is depart from iniquity. Say, but in a great house there are no not only verses of gold, of silver, and also of wood and of earth, and some for honor. And some for dishonor. Verse 21 it says, If a man therefore purge himself from this, purge yourself from this, he shall be a vessel of honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use, and prepared for every good work. The only thing that God needs from us to sanctify ourselves and live a righteous life. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the way. When we talk about way, let me come. Way is a path that leads to a place. And so, if you want to go to a place, you have to drive through a road. Road is the same as a way. It's a path. It starts from a, a destination, one place, and ends at a place. And so if I want to go to, I travel to Ghana. We have many ways, many ways, or many flights that go. From Houston, if I take KLM, I have to go through the Netherlands. If I take British Airways, I have to go through Britain or England. If I take Air France, I have to go to, to through France. If I take Lufthansa, I have to go through Germany. If I take Ghana Airways, it will take me straight. And so, every flight has a place or its roots.
But when it comes to religion and the kingdom of God, Jesus said, I am the only way. I am the only way. My prayer is that somebody you have this revelation. Hey, Buddha was not able to say, I am the way. Buddha was not able. Muhammad, Muhammad said that, I don't know. I don't know the way. Confucius, no, nobody was able to say that I am the way. God bless you, my sister, Omega Queen. God bless you for a happy day. Happy birthday. Yes, God bless you. Long life. Thank you, woman of God. Jesus said, I am the way. And so he said that, he did not say, I am one of the ways. He says, I am the way. Me and the quiet. No. I pray that my fellow men, ministers of God, will understand that the only way to heaven, the only way to heaven is the Lord Jesus Christ. The only way. My prayer is that you will understand. It's a revelation. I every day will pray, pray and teach and tell you that heaven is not for everybody. Somebody will say, why? Because it's only those who do the will of God. People who are ready to deny themselves, take up their cross and follow the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. Follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Because he's the only way. Jesus said, I am the only way to heaven. I am the only way to heaven. There is no other way to heaven except the Lord Jesus Christ. Let me tell you, my brother, my sister, a child of God who is listening to me, my prayer is that begin to walk and live a life that will lead you to heaven. And so, Jeremiah lamented. Jeremiah lamented in Jeremiah 6. Let me go and read Jeremiah 6, <laughs> verse 16. And hear the word of God, what Nehemiah lamented. He said, Thou sayest the Lord, stand ye the way, stand ye the way. Go and stand ye the way, and see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? Walk the in, and you shall find rest for your soul. But he said, We will not walk in. Jeremiah was telling the Israelites and was praying to the Israelites that there is only one way. Go and search for that way. Stand in that way and walk in that way. You find salvation for your soul. The path that leads to heaven. Even God himself even lamented in Isaiah. Isaiah 1 and the verse 2 and 3. He said, Hear, O heaven, and give ear, O earth. For the Lord has spoken. I have knowledge and brought, brought up children, and they have rebelled against me. The ox knows his owner. The ox is master script. But Israel do not know. My people don't consider I pray that somebody, child of God, you begin to consider your ways. Christ only I will show up on you, mommy. Let's watch our ways. Let's watch our ways. There is no other way. There is no other. Do not let anybody deceive you that, oh, there are many ways to heaven. Yes. Jesus told us. Jesus told us that I am, I am, I am the door. I am the door. And so the only door that you can open and enter is Jesus Christ. He said, I am the bread of life. Bread of life. The only bread that you eat that will give you the strength and lead you to heaven is Jesus Christ. Is Jesus Christ. Again, he said, I am the good shepherd. He is the only shepherd that can lead you to the pasture and to the place of rest that is heaven. My prayer is that you understand there is no other way. The ways are not many. It is only one. And that one is the Lord Jesus Christ. Say, I am. Let's go and read John 14. John 14 and the verse 1. John 14 and verse 1. And how this conversation started and why it ended that way. Jesus told his people, let not your heart be troubled. 
And so he, by walking with them and looking at them, he saw that they were troubled. There are many people that in this life they are doing something that they don't know what they are doing. They are going a place where they don't know where they are going. I every day tell people that if you are going to a place and you don't know the route that uh, that will lead you to, to that place, any road can lead you to. By this, Jesus said, I am the only way. All that Jesus was telling them, believe in me, believe, believe in, in God, and also believe in me. And brother, my sister, the only way to salvation is to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. To believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. There is no other name. When you read the Bible, Jesus continued to tell them, believe in me. Believe in me. Yesterday, a man of God preached in our church and he gave me a revelation. John 11. The Bible said Jesus wept. Why did Jesus wept? Not because of the death of Lazarus, but because of the people disbelieving. Jesus Christ is alive and Jesus is there. There are many people, they have Jesus in their life, they don't know. And so they walk from one place to another. They, they will look to people and they rely, rely on people. There are many people who have come and they are holding the, the, the Bible. They don't know what the Bible is. And so they are living as wretched and poor. My prayer is that you stand up, my brother, my sister, and begin to do the will of God. Begin to do the will of God. Begin to do the will of God. You find salvation for your soul. There is no name given unto man on earth and in heaven to be saved except the name of Jesus Christ. There is no other name. My brother, my sister, there is no other name. Jesus Christ was telling them to believe in me. Jesus Christ, Martha told Jesus that Christ, that Jesus, if you have been here, my brother will not die. Jesus said he's not, he's not dead, but he's sleeping. Martha said, I know that he will rise again. He will rise again in the last days. Jesus said, Martha said, but I know that even now, whatever thou will, God, as God, God will give. And so, Martha was thinking that, Jesus, you are too late. You are too late for a long time. There are people who continue to sit down and ask many questions in their life. Why am I on this earth for? Life, <laughs> why, why life is so miserable? Every day I, I sit in the church, I, I hold the Bible. But why, why life? Because you don't understand. The Bible says, Jesus told us that in this world we have trouble. But he has overcome the world overcome the world again the bible says, whoever is born of god overcome this world and this is our victory our faith in the lord jesus believing in the lord jesus christ give us strength and power inner strength to overcome this world inner strength to overcome this world it's only jesus it's only jesus the bible says galatians 2 and verse 20 paul said to leave his christ and the life that I live now, I live through Christ who died for me. Understand that life without Christ is in crisis. It's, life is about Jesus. People don't want to hear. Yes, you can decide that I don't want to hear now. But the day is coming, the time is coming. How do I know it's always at last? Anytime you hear somebody saying, if I had known, meaning that you had a, a choice. You had a right to make a, a right choice, but you opted. You decided to choose the wrong way. And ways lead us to a place. And so your choices will either lead you to heaven or lead you to hell. There is no other place. There's only two places. Either you are going to hell or you are going to heaven. You make a choice. You have the right to make a choice right now. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you choose the right way. And the only right way is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. There is no other way. Jesus Christ told them to believe in him. Because the disciples were with him and they, they, they were still doubting. As many people have come to the Lord Jesus Christ. 
They are the Lord Jesus Christ. Instead of looking unto Jesus, they are looking to their pastors and they have put their faith in their pastors. I don't say don't reverend any pastor, reverend them. Now don't put your trust and your faith in them. They are human beings. You don't know what they do in their secrets. When there's nobody is there, you don't know what they do. Some of the, the people that sit in the pew are even righteous and holy than most of their pastors. Look to Jesus. It's the only way. The Bible says, since we are surrounded by great cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every sin and wait that beset us. And, and, and run the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus. Look to Jesus. My brother, my sister, look to Jesus. Jesus Christ was talking with them and said that don't, don't believe in him, just believe in me. In my father's house are many mansions. This is a revelation that only few people will see. That is why Jesus Christ told Nicodemus, go and read John chapter 3 and verse 3. It says, except a man be born again, he will not see the kingdom of God. And so not everybody, not every human being on earth knows that there is a kingdom prepared, not by man, not by hands, prepared by God himself. And so the Bible says we are with an open face, a transforming. One day we'll be like him. Again, the Bible says, for we don't know what we will be. First John 3, verse 2. He said, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the children of God. Yes, we are. We don't know what we will be. But one thing we know, that when he come, we'll be like him. One day Jesus will come. Again, one day, my brother, my sister, child of God, somebody listening to me, our Jesus will come. And when he comes, where will you stand? There are people who disbelieve. Yes. No, you can disbelieve because there are many people they want, they want to see before they believe. They want to handle. There are people they need signs. But yes, still every sign and everything have been given unto them. I pray that that revelation will be revealed unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. My brother, my sister, child of God, there is no other way. The only way to heaven is Jesus Christ. And very sad, it has been missing in the pulpit. It has been missing on the radio and on the television. It has been missing everywhere. Our prayer is that you know and follow. There are many ways, but the only way is Jesus Christ. Jesus told his disciples that I am going to prepare a place in my father's house. There are many mansions. And so I, I will go and I will prepare that place. And where I will be, there you will be. Where I will be, there you are, will be. <laughs> but Thomas was doubting. You see, there are many people who are with Christ, who are in the Christian dom. They don't know where they have come. Somebody sang a song, Jesus is in the inside, something more than gold. Some, something precious than silver. You have Jesus. You have Jesus. And every day, walking rich because of knowledge. Because of knowledge. Because you think that you go to church, sit in the church 24 hours, 7 days without working. When immediately you come to Jesus, you'll be rich. Don't be deceived. I every day will tell my listeners and my followers, for every true Christian, you have to make money legal. You have to work. When you step out, the grace of God will go before you. And the letter that you touch will be blessed. Christians who don't have knowledge sit down and lack. You will lack because you have to work. You don't pray 24 hours. And that does not make you holy and that does not make you wise. You don't sit in the church seven days. I was I was talking to a woman who who have a store and will leave the store and go to a, go to prayer meetings. 
and give the store to somebody to take care. And when you come and things are a mess, you're going to blame God. You're going to blame God. I tell my listeners and I tell my followers, if you happen to work on Sunday, you see, the sad thing is that many ministers, men of God, have put this on us and we feel guilty that if, if even if we don't go to church one day, we have sin. It is not sin. It is not sin. I told my son, I told everybody, if you have to work on Sunday, go. Go and work. Never have guilt within your spirit. The only thing that can cause you to be guilty is when you walk in sin. If you walk in sin, then that is it. And so, a Christian, the reason why many Christians are living poor and they are, they are not do, they are doing good is that many men of God have made them to, to think that if I don't go to church today, yeah. well, <laughs> I'm, I'm saying you have not sinned. There is no place in the Bible. The only place in the Bible is walking in righteousness and living a righteous life. The Bible says we should seek the kingdom and its righteousness and everything will be added unto us. People of God, Jesus is coming. Mm. Jesus is coming. Everything points towards his coming. And so Jesus said, I, have, I go to prepare a place and I'll come back. Then Thomas said, Lord, we know not where thou goest. Thomas was a disciple. Do you know that there were disciples like Judas? Judas was with Jesus Christ. But yesterday, his heart and mind was far away. Coming to church does not make you a Christian. Again, listen to me. Praying 24 does not make you a Christian. Yes, praying, prayer is good. I every day tell people, there is no way in the Bible that you can find a lack of prayer, lack of reading, lack of knowledge, having fact, understanding. And so the Bible says wisdom is the principal thing. And only you get it, get understanding. Understand it. The reason why Christians are feeling that they don't understand. They think that immediately you, come, you don't come to Jesus Christ to, because you are rich or to make you rich. You come to Jesus Christ because of your salvation. He said, I came that you may have life. Life and have it more abundantly. Life. Internal life. Life forever. Salvation. Jesus Christ the sick and sought you to take you to heaven. And so, <laughs> being blessed it's whereby the spirit of God will prevent the enemy from coming into your life. <laughs> and, and, and it will open every door unto you. Thomas was with Jesus Christ, but he did not know. Yes, Jesus Christ called him. He was following Jesus Christ, but he did not know where, where he was going. He did not know. Like many Christians, many people sitting in a church and have made many people to, to, to doubt out because you don't have knowledge and you don't have any understanding of the Lord Jesus Christ that you have come to. I pray. And so John said that greater is he that is in us than the one that is in the world. You have the one who created heaven and earth. You have the one who said let that be and there is coming to dwell in you. Yes, tell you are walking miserably because you don't have any knowledge. Have knowledge. Gain understanding about the Lord Jesus Christ. He's more than everything. He, he's the Alpha and Omega. He's the source. And he won the come. Thomas was asking, Jesus, where? And how can we know? Then Jesus, a golden answer, that I pray that you have the revelation. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the way. Not one of the ways. Not other ways. I am the only way. And so, my brother, my sister, there is no other way. Yes, I thank God for all other religions. I thank God for all other religions. But none of the religion will lead you to heaven. None of the religion. And I can boldly and I firmly affirm this, that none of the religion can tell you or take you to heaven. Muhammad even himself said that I don't know where he was going. Even in the Quran, Muhammad said is that uh, the Muslim, when they lack something, they have to come and ask Christians, come to Jesus. He's the only way. Yes, till you sit in the house of God, you, you hold the Bible and you don't know who Jesus is. You don't know who Jesus is. And so there are many people that disbelieve our Lord Jesus Christ. One day he will come. Thomas was the same. He said, we don't know where you, you are going. And how can we be there? 
And Jesus said, I am the way. I am the way. The truth, the life. No one comes to the Father. And so no one can go to the Father. Jesus said, only me. Only me. The only way to salvation. The only way to happiness. And the only way to joy. There are many people. I, I read a story. A, a man, a, a one rich man in Singapore wrote. They asked him, what is his joy? He said, with all my riches and with all my, my, my stuff. The only day I became happy is the day I, I saw the Lord Jesus Christ. My brother, my sister, you know the reason why you, you are not happy. Because you have come to the Lord, but you have not received Jesus Christ. You, you don't believe. You don't believe. Jesus told Martha and Mary, only believe. Didn't I tell you that if you believe, you see the glory of God? Yes, sir, there are many in the Christian room, they don't believe. They don't believe. And so they say this. They worship me with their mouth, but their heart is far. There are many people, one leg in the church and one leg outside. They are not ready to live a righteous life or live a holy life. They have come into the church to take everything. But they don't want to do the right thing. There is no magic in the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is not like a slaughter machine. Or like a computer. It's not like a slaughter machine. That automatically you slot it in. You expect a result. It is principle. Jesus said, if you love me, obey my command. He says, and this blessing will come to you and overtake you. Deuteronomy 28. This blessing will come upon you and overtake you if you hearken unto my word and obey my command. It's obedience. Obedience. Somebody sang a song. There is no other way to be happy in the Lord but to trust and obey. You don't want to trust. You don't want to obey. You have come to the Lord Jesus. That is why many, 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 many have come into the Christian dome. Jesus said many are called but few are chosen. Because few people are ready. Few, 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 few. Few people are ready. Few people let me go and talk about the reason why Jesus Christ is the only way. Jesus Christ is the only source. The first thing, Jesus is the source, only source for salvation. There is no one. On this earth, there is no one. There is no place that you can have salvation except through Jesus. Except through Jesus. You cannot find salvation. Don't be deceived. Again, do not be deceived. And tell me, oh, there are many ways. I don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I don't believe he, that he is the Son of God. He is one of the pro, one of a, prost, a child of prostitutes. He is a prophet. Yes. Even in his days, he asked, go and read Matthew 16. When you read Matthew 16, in his days, he asked his disciples, who do people say I am? Some say you are John the Baptist. Others say you are Jeremiah. Others say you are Elijah. Elijah. And they said, you are a prophet. Yes, still, people continue to say, he's one of the prophets. He asked the disciple, who do you say I am? Peter revealed and said, you are the son of the living God. Jesus affirmed and told him, this thing, it is not flesh and blood that revealed to you, but my father in heaven. And so somebody who would identify and know who Jesus is, he gives you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Jesus told Peter, when you are built my church, I give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you open shall be open. This is a revelation. It's not for everybody. It's for those who have come and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ with all their heart, with all their mind, with all their soul, with all their body. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ with your everything. Believe in him with your everything and you see the glory of God. There is no other way. The first reason that Jesus Christ <laughs> came and died is the only way is the source of salvation let's go and read as of the apostle chapter 4 and I'll read verse 4 and 12 sorry verse 11 11 and 12 and I'll tell you the Genesis why Peter stood and announced the Bible says that after Jesus resurrected he told them that they should not leave Jerusalem until they receive the promise of the Father. In John 14 and John 16, Jesus told them not to leave. It was expedient for him to go. Because when he go, he will send the Comforter and the Holy Spirit. 
That was the Holy Spirit. That is the Spirit of God. My brother, my sister, and this generation, the only thing that can lead you and help you is the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God. It was there from the beginning. It was the Holy Spirit that led the Israelites by day pillar of clouds and night pillar of fire. It was the Holy Spirit that the angel told Mary who over, over, overshadow you. The Holy Spirit that resurrected Christ from dead. But on that great day, a faithful day of Pentecost, it was the Holy Spirit that fell. And that is leading us the way. The Spirit of God. The Spirit that searches all things, even the deeper things of God, is the Holy Spirit. Is the Holy Spirit. And so they were going to the church. And there was a cripple who had been in the church for many years. Read us of the Apostle chapter 3. That's of the Apostle chapter 3. And the Bible says that this, this look to this cripple. And this cripple was, was expecting them for money. A child of God, listen to me. There are many people that have come uh, to Jesus with a wrong decision and wrong mind. They think that we come to Jesus. And, and so a man of God will tell you, so a thousand dollars and you will be rich. Liars. Liars. I remember I went to a meeting and a prophet, you see, God will judge them. They are very wicked. They are very wicked. And they don't have the mind of God. Tell him that he was going to make a billionaire's club. Billionaire's club. Go and, and get your retirement in America. And come and sow. And the Lord will bless you. I, I was there. I told them it is a lie. Unfortunately for him, after he finished, I was the one that, that was coming to preach. I told them it's a lie. And everybody was looking at me. I know the pastor was offended. I know everybody was offended by that. I told them the truth. And you don't joke with me when it comes speaking the truth. I thank God. I every day tell, tell people the reason why I preach the truth is that it is God who pay me. No human being pays me. Nobody. I work. As a pastor, I work. As a preacher, I work. And I earn my income. And so, and so because I don't look to anybody, you cannot deceive me. You cannot deceive me. You cannot. You cannot. You, and I will never be deceived. I don't depend on anybody. I depend on God and the strength and my job. And so I, I am able to preach because if you invite me to, to come and preach in your church, I am, I am not coming to that church for money. I come to preach and show people the way to heaven. Told them it is a lie. If any man of God tells you come and sow, come and pay money, I am not saying giving is, is wrong. But giving with this motive that you are sowing seed to be rich, it is not in the Bible. Even where the Bible tells us to pay a tithe, God say, I will open the heavens and I will, I will hold the devourer. And so the Lord will bind the devourer. It is, it is not. I told them, don't, don't follow any man of God who will tell you, if you don't, some of people will say that if you don't tithe, you, if you don't sow you this, it's lie, lies, lies. I every day tell people, never feel guilty for these things. Go, Galatians, Paul says, give as you will. And will smile. And so grudgingly, you don't have it. That thousand dollars can do something. You don't have it and you, you take it. They, somebody will deceive you. You will not get any return. You will never get any return. I pray in the name of Jesus. Somebody don't want to hear. These things people don't want to hear. They don't want to hear. Because they trust, they are putting their trust in their, their men and women of God. And the church is getting richer and richer and richer. And the men of God are getting richer and richer and richer. And the congregants are getting poorer and poorer and poorer. Because they use the word of God to distort them and steal from them. One day, we will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. We give accounts. They are all in it. So they healed. They were going to the temple filled with the Holy Ghost. They have received the Holy Ghost. Peter said, silver and gold we have none. In the name of Jesus Christ, stand up and walk. The Bible says all of a sudden, the power of God came upon this. And he started walking, limping, and praising God. Praising God. That is the power of God. It is our prayer that God will use us to touch many lives and lead many to heaven. There is no other thing. My brother, my sister, there is no other thing. Nobody want to hear. Nobody want to hear this. They don't want to hear the message of salvation. They don't want to hear. 
every day tell you if a, somebody let's say somebody came and be, became naked everybody you see the number of people everybody want to hear listen but this is where gold something more than gold is being sold something precious that will make your life nobody want to hear the, the pharisees and the sadducees started pursuing them to stop mentioning the name of jesus christ they put them in prison and the bible says that they came out of the prison and they prayed to the standard where they were standing begin even was shaking and they asked peter and john they are risen they are risen the reason for their preaching and the reason why this man stand healed and this is what peter proclaimed this is the stone which was set at the name of you builders i pray that you understand the stone that was set the stone that was given to them to hold them and hold your life somebody said i don't believe in jesus your jesus cannot build the economy your jesus cannot do this your jesus cannot do this you continue continue one day you regret one day you live to regret don't follow the few don't follow the majority evil men and women of god that distort and steal from people who don't preach the truth some of them have bigger churches and larger churches full of words but they are not of god i pray in the name of jesus christ don't follow them don't follow them follow jesus christ go to i every day tell people go to a church where you will sit down and <laughs> you encounter the holy spirit a church a place where you find the Holy Spirit and you go home fulfilled within your spirit. I every day thank God. Thank God that I'm educated. I thank God that I am a Christian. I thank God. And so you cannot boast with your education. Neither can you boast. Hey, I, I always tell people, I my life, I know how to weed. I know how to make farms. I remember in our days we have to farm and go and pay our school fees. My brother and myself, we have to make cabbage, cabbage, wheat cabbage, wheat everything. And we have to go and pay our school fees. I remember when I was I was at USD. My father has retired. Listen to this. And I needed money. We were doing some project. I needed money to pay the project. I came home. My father told me he don't have money. There was no money anywhere. As so I was going. And I was crying. I was crying. I'm going to take campus. At USD Junction, I was walking. I met a man. And said, Ata, why is your eye red? Are you sick? Because I was crying within me. You know, crying within me. You know, because and there was no money anywhere that I can take and go and pay my, my father don't have, my mother don't have. And the man asked me, why are you crying? I said, I'm sick of Apollo. I have to lie to that man. I was not able to tell the man that my father don't have money. I went to my, my, my hall. I went, I was in Queen's Hall. I was in 93. And I came to 104 with my, my twin brother. And I started crying. Crying in the room. Until somebody, always God will bring people into our lives. Come, Jim, Chief, may your soul rest in peace. This guy took us to the house and the sisters helped me, sister Fia Chan, sister, uh, sister Fia Chan, uh, they help us in the pay our school fees. People help us. My memorial pro, may your soul rest in peace. This they help us. People help us. People will help you. And so I, I I have gone through bad days. I know how it is to live on the other side. And I know how it is. Some of us it is grace that has brought us this far. Oh, and I always thank God for my mother. My mother. On this birthday, on this my birthday, I celebrate my mother. Because all that our mother taught us, she did not have anything. But she taught us how to pray and how to love the Lord. She taught us how to pray and how to love the Lord. And every day tells you there are some women. You go to the shop, you buy, you buy bad stuff, then you bring your daughter. The Bible says we should train the, train the children the way they should go. And so when they grow and they begin to live another life you don't understand i'll pray with my children and i'll talk the work of them 
that they will not depart from it. My brother, my sister, the Bible says that the stone that you build us <laughs> set at Ne, which has become the head of the corner, and continue that is there salvation in any other. There is no salvation in any other, for there is none, no one under the heavens. <laughs> he says that there is no other name, there is no other name, and so <laughs> Muhammad name does not come in. Buddha name does not come in, confusion does not come in. They are all leading to hell. It says there is no other name given unto man to be saved except the name of Jesus Christ. Except the name of Jesus Christ. Except the name of Jesus Christ. And so there is no name given unto man to be saved. If you want to receive salvation, come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only source of our salvation for this world. There is no name. There is no name. The Bible says, For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Let me go and read John 3. John 3. John chapter 3. And I'll read verse 14 coming. Verse 14 come. John 3. And the verse 14. And somebody hear the word of God. He said, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Even so. Man, the son of man, God bless you, my sister Jenny Bonsu, a good mother. Oh, yes, thank you for that. A mom who taught us to pray, she taught us to pray, taught us to pray, and this has become a strength in us in our difficult times. All that we need to do is to cry, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. By the time you realize you are out of all your troubles, there is no other name. My brother, my sister, there is no other name that you can you, you receive salvation. He says that as Moses lifted the serpent, and if you read the story about Moses, how Israel sinned and how they were saved. They were saved. And so, even so must the Son of Man be lifted, that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have eternal life. And so to have eternal life, to have salvation is only Jesus Christ. It's only Jesus. The sad thing is that many have come to Jesus. Many are holding Jesus. Many are in the church. They don't understand who Jesus is. They don't understand who Jesus is. I thank God. My, a, a friend of mine, a Nigerian, said, I thank God for God. I thank God for God. I thank God for deeper revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't encounter Jesus, <laughs> the disciples were called. They follow Jesus Christ. But Paul encountered Jesus. And look at what Paul did. He said to live is <laughs> to, to live as Christ and to die is gain. Even when he was about to be killed, he said he knew Jesus. He encountered Jesus in his wrongful lives. He encountered even when Stephen was being stoned. So was the Paul standing there. And so he was somebody that encountered Jesus. I have, if you don't encounter if you don't encounter Jesus if you don't take care you won't go to heaven that is why many are in the church they are holding the bible they are holding Jesus they don't know who Jesus is they think that you can live a double life you can do everything and so instead of them living a righteous life they begin to give excuses they begin to give excuses Jesus Christ is the only way to salvation his only way to salvation he said for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish by having everlasting life. For God sent his, not his son, into the world to condemn the world. But the world through him might be saved. He that believes on him is not condemned. But he that believes not is condemned already. Because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten son. Hear this. Verse 19. He said, this is the condemnation. This is the condemnation. The light has come into the world. Light of God has come into the world. But the Bible says, and man or men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. I pray that you will understand the word of God. That is my prayer for you. Catch the revelation. It's a mystery. I tell people the word of God is a mystery. It's a mystery. Let me go and read Colossians. I every day read the scripture. The word of God is not for everybody. There are people who have come to Jesus Christ. <laughs> it is not for them. 
If Jesus said, many are called, but few, few, few. I will also talk about the way. He said, I am the, I am the only way. Jesus said, I am the only way. Let's go and read Colossians chapter 1. Verse 26, he says, Even the mystery which had been hidden from ages and from generation, but now is made manifest to his saints. <laughs> so, it's a mystery. Mystery. Go and look for the dictionary word for mystery. Something that is hidden. Not everybody. He said, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in you. Christ, Christ. Jesus Christ in you, the hope of glory. Yes, you have Christ in you. You don't have any hope because you are not ready to, to, to live. The Bible said the disciples, they forsook all. You are not ready to deny yourself because you have men and women of God that will tell you tomorrow you are going to be promoted. Tomorrow you are going to do this. Whilst these people continue to sit in their sin, they will not preach salvation to you. They will not preach it. They will not preach it. And some of other preach it, they will, they will try to, to, to say bad things about us. I thank God for God. I pray. Pray that somebody, you know the Spirit of God. There's no other way. It's a mystery. Let me end here by going to preach, telling you, Jesus Christ said it. I will always also preach this scripture. Read it. Matthew 13, Matthew 7 and verse 13, Jesus said, enter in the street gate for the white. He said, white, how broad is the way? Then he came to a way. If Jesus said, I am the way. You say that. Go from today. I give you an assignment. Go and, and research about Buddha. Go and research about Muhammad. Go and research about Confucius. Go and research about all them. Nobody was able to tell his followers and everyone that I am the only way. Nobody. Yes, you don't believe in the Lord Jesus. I don't believe. I don't believe. I don't believe in that you're Jesus. You follow them. There are some people that don't even have, they have never been into any school. They don't have any education. They don't have anything. And they continue to tell you. They don't have anything. I told a friend, medical doctor, he said, hey, we are educated. But the difference between myself and you is that I found, I found the revelation. I've encountered the Lord Jesus. In my jail cell, when I was about to be deported, I was about to be deported. Everything started going. My wife divorced me. Everybody, everything was wrong. And people were insulting me. People were insulting me. People were insulting me. Hey. hey and they took me to jail. I was with five, five guys. And one a white guy. Chatter. This guy hates me. I thought I was going to die in the jail cell. I asked him, what have I done? He said, you keep on doing blah, 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 for six hours. My heart was dying, everything. I thought I was going to die in that jail cell. I thought I was going to die. I said, I can't. At times I can cry and cry. And I, I encountered the Lord Jesus. Encountered the Lord Jesus. And he told me, if you trust me and believe in me, on these days you go out. My brother, my sister, that was the beginning. I started, every time I lay my head, I will see I will see the Lord Jesus. I tell people, if you don't thank God, at times that is the reason why you go through afflictions. You go through this affliction in order to see the Lord Jesus. I encountered him and I know he is real. I know Jesus is real. I know Jesus is real. You can insult us. You can you can say anything that you want about us. Some some people call us, call us thieves. Some people call us, call us names that we don't have chaps. Some people call us, call us everything. Hey, after I finish preaching, I'm going to work. I am not a lazy man of God. I work. Thank God. Thank God. I, I every day tell people, thank God. We came to America and we had nothing, but we were able to, to find a way to go to school. And we work and we continue to work. I cried, I cried, and God revealed to me. Jesus again here is telling us that <laughs> if you come to me, enter, enter. There are there are bigger ways. Muhammad. Everyone, they can do anything. Hey, I was in Ghana. I work with all my all my Muslim friends. I know I can talk about. They have to go to the Malam. They have to go to Juju. And so every all of them, they have a ritual. They have to do everything. I know them. Jesus said the brother way, and so that is why many people have come to the Lord Jesus Christ. They working on the brother way, and somebody will tell you that, that Christianity is in inside. Who told you? The Bible says, whatever is inside comes out. 
you, if you don't want to live a righteous life, God says, the Bible says God knows his, God knows his people. And let them that make, mention the name of Jesus depart from iniquity. Depart from. Let me end here by saying, he said, because, <laughs> and he says that many thereby which goes through. And so the broader way, the bigger way, many are working on it. Many are working on it. And, and, and let me tell you a secret. A secret. Why the churches are dying in Europe? When you come to America, the churches are dying. The churches are dying. Not because of Jesus Christ. Because the church allowed the world to enter. Hey, you can do anything. You can wear anything and come to church. You can do anything and come to church. Hey, there's principle. And so they open their doors and the church is falling. The church is falling. Africa, that we are. Many African ministers and men they don't have integrity. That is why Africa, Africa, we worship God. We worship God with our head and our heart is far. Most of them, sorry, not everybody. There are true righteous Christians. I am talking about the majority. I'm talking about the majority. And so that is why we have come to Jesus Christ. And we can't, we will know. Jesus said, <laughs> because the street gate and the narrow gates is the way which leads to life, the street, little one, little one. But let me end here by <laughs> what Jesus says. Say, few there be that finds it. Few, few people, few people, not many, not, a, not too many, not many can find that way, not many, <laughs> not many, not, not all of them that preaches, not men of God that preaches. I every day tell them. One, one of the messages I will not preach, that prosperity message, that tomorrow you are going to come, you are going to receive this. <laughs> they say that, that everybody's fear. Who told you? Who told you? The only life is Jesus Christ. Live right and do the right thing. My brother, my sister, you have salvation for your soul. There is no name. There is no other name. Peter said, in heaven on earth, that has been given unto man to be saved, except the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone who come, came to the Lord Jesus Christ never went the same. They received salvation. You have come to the Lord Jesus. I don't know the number of years that you have been in the church or been with the Lord Jesus Christ. But let me ask you, are you sure you are a Christian? That, that is a golden question. I always ask, and I ask myself. I ask myself many times. The sad thing that all this preaching, and I'll get to the door, heaven door and I'll be told that you who did what is wrong and I'll see people that have been preaching to go into heaven I told the pastors I had the opportunity to preach before pastors I tell them many of them that are sitting here will go to hell while their their their, uh, their, <laughs> their congregants going to heaven and the sad thing is that you get to the door of heaven and a member that you don't consider somebody that that that, that were insulting be heading to heaven so they don't think that our congregants they don't know Christ. Don't think your church members they don't know Christ. Some of them know. Some of them are closer to God. Some of them, the eye of the Lord is upon them. Don't think that you can deceive them. That's work the work. Let's represent Christ on this earth. One day Jesus will come. My brother, my sister, are you sure you're a Christian? Not just a church goer. Don't let everybody. Jesus said the straight way. Few people can find it. It is not my word, it is the word of God. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Today is a special day for me. It's my birthday. It's our birthday. Myself and my twin brother. Twin brother. I had many years that my mother had a prophecy. The reason why we preach and we do the work of God is that it was through prophecy. A young lady that the world has denied her, husband has denied she give birth females females and they die everybody has denied and my father I do, also denied her i don't love you this woman went and sat under the tree crying the world has turned upon her her life has turned over her crying in the afternoon a man of god papa going to a prayer meeting so he said god led me to your way let's go and pray and God is going to <laughs> to give you two two boys. God says that you are pregnant with two boys. Went and said everything that you have on you, sow the seed, sow it, and they pray for her. 
my mother came home and was pregnant. And there come the two of us. You take myself and my twin brother and my father like we are three twins. Help me now, him, Papa. Help me here like we are three twins. And so my mother calls us children of prophecy. And so Jesus Christ was waiting to use us to touch the world. People look at us and they wonder why we, we love the Lord and why we do the work of God. It's true. The Holy Spirit that we were born. My brother, my sister, on this day of my birthday, the golden thing I give to you is Jesus Christ. My golden chocolate is Jesus Christ that I give to you. It's the only Jesus. Receive Jesus. And you and your family will live. So David said, I've been young and I have not old. I have not seen the righteous forsaken by God. Or his descendant begging bread. If you don't have any church, find a church. We never end our broadcast by giving somebody the opportunity to accept Christ. Say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, today I, I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Your word says that you came for your own, but your own receive you not. But as many that receive you, them you gave them power to become your child. As I've accepted you today and become your child, may you order my steps. May you guide me until you come or call me from this earth in Jesus' name. We're going to enter into a time of prayer. But I want to say this and I want to encourage you. Find a church. Always I tell my listeners, go to a church where you can feel the presence of the Holy Ghost. Uh, is it, uh, reason why I was not brought up by any pastor and, uh, and I was not accepted by any pastor. The first pastor that accepted me was uh, Evangelist Bright. First pastor that accepted me to be a pastor is about Jesus Bright. In my life, I have never, no pastor, no pastor, no pastor accepted me. In, even in the church that I was, they were not ready because the devil made it that no pastor will accept us. In my distress, Pastor Bright, I have never met him and he don't know me. He was God. Okay. And the second pastor was a Nigerian pastor. That 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 call, and so all I am telling you that when we were growing, it was elders, and these men were filled because they work. They did not depend on the church. They work elders. They were filled with the Holy Ghost and fire. You cannot sin and come to church. When you come to church, you cannot sit down. You cannot. <laughs> and so some of us will not go to the church. We will go and stand outside and we'll be laughing. To go to a church. Where you find the Holy Ghost and the presence of God. If you live around Houston, Texas, and you're looking for a place of church, come. God has started a church through us, my twin brother and myself. And it's an assembly of God church. Come and fellowship with us. And come and let's pray. Live a righteous life. The way that will lead us to heaven. God bless you. You are going to enter into begin to thank God. We are praying. Let's pray for some time. Father, in the name of Jesus, begin to thank God. Father, we thank you. We bless you. Somebody thank God. Bless the name of God. Father, we thank you. Thank God. Thank God. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Just bless the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Rakadaba Branda Zenderebe. Rokodabonda Brianama. Epanda Zenderebo Rakadaba. Somebody bless the name of the Lord. Just thank God. Bless God. He's God, he's God, he's Lord. Thank God, the bando robo rakada da ba. Rokoro da bonda priya kada zanere me. Rikada da ba. E mato robo rakade banda. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Somebody thank the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Thank God for His love. Open your mouth and thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Bless God everywhere that you are. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is. A name I love to hear. I love to sing it. It's worth. It sounds like music in my ears. The sweetest name on earth. Again, there is a name I love to hear. I love to sing it. It's worth. It sounds like music in my ears. The sweetest name on earth. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loves me. Jesus first loves me. Because he died. My brother and my sister, we are praying. 
We are praying. We want to present ourselves. Anything that prevents us. Anything. When you read Matthew 26 and the verse 40, the Bible says Jesus Christ went to pray with his people. When he came, they were sleeping. And I said, you could not wait with me. And now I wait and pray that you enter into no, no temptation. Then Jesus said that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. At times, our flesh will fight us. Many people want to live a righteous life. They want to, but things. We are praying. We want to pray that everything that fight with our spirits. Remember, we are not fighting against flesh and blood. There are people who tell you they don't have conscience. Oh, you have common sense. Who told you common sense? I remember this guy who is preaching common sense. Common sense. He was preaching common sense. Then a tape came out that he was saying that he was going to give the uh, collect their money and invest it and i say yes you see how common sense is somebody who is preaching common sense and, <laughs> and he's telling the people to use their mind and so he's using his mind to rob them it is not common sense it is the holy spirit if your hands are being bind by the devil if the devil <laughs> is killing you common sense cannot there are many people their lives are in chains their lives are in prison <laughs> their lives they are lives Jesus said to release some of those who are in captivity and those who are in prison. There are people whose life somebody said, I don't believe it. You sit down. You sit down. I told the woman, the woman that I don't believe in witches and wizards. I don't believe her. I said, Listen, woman, a radio show, a radio host lady was telling me, I don't believe in witches and wizards. I don't believe in them. I said, Woman, listen to me. It's three things. Either you are a witch or <laughs> the witches and wizards are possessing you or, or you are ignorant three things because the bible says it and every soul within a man every soul the soul within a man know that there is a superior being and so every soul is seeking for another god that is why we have many religions every the soul within a man knows that there is a superior being that is why we have many religions but thank God, the right way is Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the way, the way, the true way. It's the only Jesus Christ. Is. Yes, you have come to Jesus and you don't know what you have. Something more than gold, something precious than silver, something more than oil. We don't consume it and end in this world. But it takes us to heaven where we will live and live forever. We will live and live forever. We are praying that Father help us. Anything that fight our spirit, fight our life, fight our destiny. We cannot. Jehoshaphat told them that this battle is for the Lord. We cannot fight it. God come and fight for us. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray that God fight this battle for us. Father, fight it for us. Open your mouth and begin to pray that Father, this battle is for you. We pray that you fight it. Father, we pray. We pray every spirit, every the world, the world, and it lasts. The Bible said the world is passing away. It lasts. It's passing away. But they that do the will of God will abide forever. We pray that everything that, that fight us, anything that is contrary to the will of God, that is fighting and meditating against us, may the Lord and strengthen us, may the Lord empower us in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Rabakan somebody call jesus call jesus call the name of jesus call it and pray the father every spirit every demonic gathering everything that fight my life fight my destiny every envious spirit every jealous spirit that fight me may the power of god may the spirit of god locate them everywhere in the name of jesus 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 in the name of your mother pray pray and command the power of God, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, Father. We pray, we pray into their homes, we pray into their camps, we pray into our families, we pray every the pentai spirit that which water fight us in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Rabaka de Reba and Tokondo Riadaba, Ebanda da Bandereba, Raka de Bonda Zebra Kadaba, Imanta Karabrunda Zenderebe, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name, we pray into our homes we pray into our lives every spirit that continue to pursue us every spirit that continue to fight our lives our destiny may 
may fire look at them in the name of Jesus 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 in the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus Father we thank you we bless you in the name of Jesus again we are praying we are praying with you there are many people not because that you are sin not because of anything that you did but there are many people that within our family foundation the foundation that have been laid down a great grandmother great grandfather never thought of the next generation to come went and consulted other girls brought them buried them within the compounds of our homes and have died and gone nobody is there to continue continue and performing the rituals and so he has become a case within the family and many young men and women are dying many lives are being destroyed many are losing their destiny and so if you an upcoming lady or a gentleman that the lord is blessing you to take you away to take you away to take you away there are many families and so your burden and your troubles are many immediately you come to the lord jesus christ they identify you because they know that you are the only one that can drive them away from the home they said they will trouble you we are praying with you every spirit every demon today we start in a fasting and prayer on our prayer line and the, the team is breaking every deadly padlock over our lives demonic padlocks uh, some people the uh, demonic padlock you see i did not believe in all these things until god gave me a revelation into my mother's family and my father's family you go into my father's family there's a demonic party you go into my mother's family all the men in my mother's family they destroy their life you they will destroy your marriage they will destroy everything you go there they will destroy it they will destroy it it's the same demonic pattern and so if you're a man a woman you don't stand and pray the witches and the wizard they'll come and tell you oh the oh nobody oh they can't do this <laughs> be and follow their ways by the time you realize they'll be walking you to the to, to your grave cemetery they are evil they are wicked when they destroy they're happy they're happy when they are destroying they are singing and rejoicing listen to them all the only thing is to secure yourself in the lord jesus christ yes you talk to some people they are not ready they are not ready. They don't, they don't want to hear anything about Jesus. They don't want to hear. They want to do. Somebody came to me and said, Pastor, can you prophesy to me? I said, I don't have any prophecy. The only prophecy I have for you is Jesus Christ. I believe in prophecy, but not our, our end time prophecies. Not the end time prophecies. I went to a church and, and Ajima Prempe came to me and stand before me and prophesied to me that God, the Lord said, I should give him $2,000. Whilst I was coming out of immigration jail, sir, that I don't have even a dime. I don't have a dime. Who, who is that God that prophesied to you? Who is that God? They are all liars. Tell them I said it. One day they will stand before judge and God. He is the one that said that he was building a Bologna club. You follow them. I tell you, when I lay my head down, I, I can at times I, I can see heaven standing with me and clapping for me. Because this heart is closer to God. All I think about is Christ and his... <laughs> the next day I went and he was he was insulting me. The, somebody that God told you that God told you. It was even a friend Pentecost pastor who sent me there. If somebody that God told you that I had to come and give two thousand dollars. The next day I went and he saw me. <laughs> he said there are some people when they are coming to church, you look at their pocket, it's like they have millions. They don't have nothing. The same thing I was when I was going to church when I was growing. You see me, a lot of people here. And so I said, I was sitting there looking at his face. Somebody that you are saying, God says that I should give 2,000. Now you are insulting me before. I pray that they will encounter Jesus. I pray that they will encounter Jesus. Don't look at the men of God that use them. Don't you look at them. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. There are many of them that it's not that they are not from God, but they have missed the mark. Many of them, it is not that they are not from God, but they have missed the mark. They have made the mark because of some of the white churches that preaches prosperity and other things. They think it's the right way. It is not the right way. We are praying for you. Praying that every serpent, demonic spirit, demonic spirit, 
that will fight you. May the Lord God, we pray into your mother's family, pray to your father's family, pray that there every spirit that has been buried within the compound of the home. May the Lord crush it in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Pray. La bande rebo rakada daba. Robonda la bande rikada daba. Rokada ba rikado dobo. Ambanta zikoto ba kara bria daba. Manto dobo rikada daba. Ipanda rabo rikada bande rebo. Abanda zikaro do bria kada bande rebo. Rinta kada ba rokondo. E manta kara branda zenderebe e pandara bora kada ba opio ma fem pray 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 to your mother's family pray to your father's family every spirit every demon that has been buried within the family that fights your life let the blood of Jesus crush them let them be ejected and thrown away destroy from the family from the family we pray in the name of Jesus 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 let every spirit every f- receive the fire of the Holy Ghost let them receive every spirit of meditate they fight you they follow you you have crossed the ocean they are following you in the name of Jesus we pray fire we pretend we come against them in the name of Jesus Banderebo, Raka de Rebona Riadaba, Emanta Coro Bonda Reba, Rakadaba, Rokoto Bonda Riadaba, Amanta Bora Cadaban de Zida Branda, Ropan de Candaraba, Emanto Coro Bonda Rabande Riba, Emma Coro Riadaba, A Coloro Bora Cadaba, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I just want to pray for this. It's just the Spirit of God that reminded me of this. Once I was sitting in a church and there was this a prophet. I don't want to mention the name of the prophet. And this prophet called them one by one and was watching, washing their feet. Wash their feet and put oil on them. Wash their feet and put oil on them. My brother, my sister, be careful. You see, when you talk about spiritual things, somebody will not understand. At times, my heart pants. It's a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. All of a sudden, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw I saw when this prophet started washing the feet of this lady, I saw a crown being removed from the lady. Crown. And I, I got scared. I saw everything taken away from the lady. And this man of God was washing the feet. I bowed down my head and I was crying. I told them, I told the whole, I told them, this man of God is not from God. It's not from God. I told the lady and the lady almost insulted me. Right now, <laughs> her life is going in the ditch. She started insulting me. Because she thinks that some of us, we don't have names. We preach and nobody wants to hear it. And nobody wants it. So we don't know God. It is not about knowing God. It's encountering Jesus. It's encountering Jesus Christ. I told her she never believed. Some of people are dying. Some people are following this. Them. I am not here to criticize any man of God. I am here to preach Christ. Him and Him alone. There are many people, the hand that have been laid on you, somebody lay a hand on you, has, has destroyed your life forever. Somebody slept with you and have taken the glory of God out of your life. And so the rest of your life will be struggle, 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 struggle. We pray that the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Peter says, silver and gold we have none. But such we have, we, have, we give in the name of Jesus. Pray that the name of Jesus Christ, the power in the name, will set you free. Free forever. Open your mouth and pray. Let's pray the last prayer. Pray the Father in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Bring yourself that every hand that has been laid on me, every one that has been laid, every oil, there are some people, they give them oil. The oil that have gone into the camp of the devil and come back. The oil that have been missed. And, and, and they put it on you they have, they have made rituals and so your life will be struggle your life will be struggle you are praying in the name of Jesus Christ praying in the name of Jesus that every hand everything, everything, every direction that is not of God that have been given unto me that is causing my life that is affecting me that is fighting my destiny 
Somebody pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rabande kando robo. Rika dada banderebo. Ragande rebanda brando zoka bandereba. Father, we pray for them. We commit their soul, their body. We come against every demonic and every demonic direction, every oil that is not of you, God. We pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Listen to me. I am not saying that all this oil and everything is no good. But all I'm saying is that be careful. If the name of Jesus cannot save you, if the blood of Jesus and through the Holy Spirit cannot save you, nothing can save you. Nothing. Nothing can save you. Nothing. I believe in I believe in the name. And then that Jesus showed me that go and preach. When I started preaching on Ivan Jesus Blight Radio, everybody was listening to me. One day I was sleeping and the Spirit of God visited me. I will tell you my story, what the Lord showed me in jail and why I preached salvation. Why I preached only salvation. That is what the Lord gave to me. And so God bless you all. Again, I thank God. Today is our birthday. God has added another year. And so that is why I came with my Abaja, uh, my African dress. And this was, was my first dress that my wife so for me when i was coming to america almost 24 25 years ago <laughs> the first one that they gave it to me from ghana that i came to america with and this is it and i've been i've been wearing this for 25 years 24 25 years ago and it, it is through god's grace and thank god for that father i thank you for adding another year onto our age it is not by might it's not by power one thing i ask on this birthday is your spirit. One thing I ask is the Holy Spirit. This is all I ask that I will know you and know you more. Oh, that is one thing I ask that help me to know you more and know you no other way. Thank you in Jesus' name. God bless you all. Until come back tomorrow. Bye.